Welcome to this video where we'll cover the topic how to send attachments using REST API. To showcase this scenario, we've set up a one form that will send attachments to a second form using REST API filters. The forms are simple and contain an attachment pool with two attachments each. Let me show you the source. This is a simple form with an attachment pool. And all the attachment fields have um, SRC at the end of the field name, meaning source. And then the destination, it's an empty form with DST in the attachment fields to mark their as destination. So now, how is that filter built? Well, it's linked to the double C test attachment source form enable for modify and submit, and it will trigger once status is equal to send. The set fields has a data source as REST API, and as we want to create an entry on uh, the second form, we are going to use the post method. The base URI is the API URI on Jetty, and then we and the building the path with ARC's V1 entry double C test attachment destination. After that, uh, the authentication is of no importance at this point. Uh, we don't have any custom headers. And in the request response mapping, the static body is empty, of course. And uh, as we want to send attachments and values, well, the request mapping is the important part. We've built the short description and submitter as the initial values that are needed to create an entry on the destination form. And they're mapped to uh, short description and submitter uh, source fields. Then the last two fields are values pipe attachments one destination and values pipe attachment two destination. And of course, they're linked to the attachment one and attachment two source. Uh, there's no other mapping here, no child array index. And we're not very interested in the response mapping, but on this multi-part info section. This is needed if you want to send attachments. And regardless of the values key that we used initially in uh, mapping the objects, the, the values, there, uh, this key should be entry and the value should be null. And after that, you can map any attachment field that you're going to send, in this case, to, and they should be prefixed with attach, remember the double T and the dash. And after that, attachment one underscore DST as they are mapped into the values key, JSON key. The second part is the actual value of those fields. And that's interesting because they should contain this attach field key with a colon and then the actual attachment field ID as it's in the database. There's a hash um, malt sep as if it's a multi-part separation tag and it's surrounded by has symbols. And after that, there are some special um, keys, such as the ones that are in all uppercase, attach field key and attach header data type, and colon application octet stream. This is minimum information needed. Uh, some customers have uh, asked if Base64 is supported to send attachments from Remedy, and the answer is no. Uh, even if you add another headers or try to change it, the file will be sent in binary format. So I'll cancel these. That's all you need to uh, map attachment. And now we're going to send them. I'll perform another search. The destination form is empty. And I'm going to send these two attachments, a PNG and a TXT file, and modify the Entry and then perform a search. And we see the short description matches to what we did. It was created just recently. And I'm going to display the image. Yes, it's that image and the TXT file. And now we know they traveled up fine. 
And I think that's all you need to send attachment. So thank you for your time.